Hello, welcome to Neil Scribe. In 2019, the global numbers of EVs, including light commercial vehicles on the road, reached 7.5 million. And that number is expected to grow to over 100 million vehicles by 2030, according to the market research firm ID TexX. Another study done by Bloomberg NEF projects that EVs will account for 57% of global passenger car sales by 2040. Now this increase will likely create a gap in charging infrastructure that will need to be filled. Exactly how much charging infrastructure will be needed is something that policymakers and various stakeholders around the world are trying to figure out. There's simply too much going on globally to cover in one video, so now we're gonna zero in on the United States. And this brings us to an eye-opening study done by the International Council on Clean Transportation that analyzed the U.S. 100 most populous metro areas, which represents 75% of the U.S. vehicle market. The council estimates that these areas will need to add around 185,000 level 2 and 10,000 level 3 charging stations by 2025 in order to keep up with projected EV sales. That is a 400% increase on current infrastructure. And the council estimates that the cost of adding 185,000 level 2 stations to be around $940 million over the next five years. Now many entities throughout the country are working on preventing this gap. There are too many to cover them all, but some of the highlights include Electrify America, a subsidiary of Volkswagen of America. Electrify America plans to open 800 stations by 2022, which is a part of their planned $2 billion investment through 2027. And of course we have Tesla with over 1,800 supercharging stations and counting in the US with over 16,480 volt superchargers. And these figures don't include Tesla's destination chargers as shown on the map on their website. All of these gray markers you see here are destination chargers, many of them hotels. And we also have governments at the state and municipal level which are also working on preventing the looming charging gap as well. New York State, for example, is investing $250 million over the next five years to build up the state's EV infrastructure. The investment includes charging stations along their highways at around 65 kilometer intervals and charging hubs around JFK International Airport. And we have Chicago, the United States' third largest city that recently passed an ordinance mandating that at least 20% of parking spots must be ready for EV chargers in commercial buildings with 30 or more parking spaces. Another great example is Denver. That city plans to expand their public charging stations, which they offer for free from 400 to 4,000 by 2030. And there are many other examples across the country, but now let's shift gears to some incredible alternative EV charging solutions in development or in production around the world. And this takes us to Audi's portable charging system. This system is made out of three charging containers that houses 4,500 battery cells. It has a whopping one megawatt hour storage capacity, a total charging power of 1.2 megawatts and 20 15 minute ultra fast charging points. A portable charging system like this is a great alternative solution as you can plop it down on any parking lot. And naturally we have to bring Tesla back into the spotlight because it has its mega pack portable charging station that it deployed over the holidays. The Mega Pack has an insane 3 megawatt hour storage capacity and can charge 100 cars. Now let's look at some EV charging solutions that are a bit further beyond the horizon. Volkswagen recently unveiled an autonomous charging concept involving robots and energy storage devices called battery wagons. The idea is for robots to bring battery wagons to designated parking spaces prompted by request via smartphone. And the great thing about this concept is that the installation footprint is minimal and more importantly it allows all parking spaces to be EV charging capable. Another cool example of robotic charging comes from the Dutch startup Roxas. Roxas is developing soft robotics technology which allows for fully unmanned charging operations. The company designed a robotic arm that uses computer vision to guide the plug into the charging socket. The arm is also equipped with soft robotic features allowing it to absorb the shocks that come from people entering and exiting the vehicle. And as vehicles become more and more autonomous, technology like this will enable vehicles to charge themselves in the future. It's hard to say at this juncture whether or not EV charging infrastructure will grow fast enough to keep up with EV adoption. There may be some areas in the country where some of these chargers are underutilized 
And there may be other areas in the country where EV owners may have to wait an extra half an hour for a charging spot. But between the efforts from governments and automakers, we are heading in the right direction. A direction that leads to a world where owning an EV is just as convenient as owning a petrol vehicle. All right, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I am Neil Scribe, and I'll see you on the next journey.